This way. Oh. Oh, okay. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. Oh, I, I remember it all. You're right. It's beautiful here. Can't deny that. It's not like I have other things on my mind, but I'm not going to check with you. Because I what are you don't doing? fully trust you. You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Oh, fantastic. Stealing from the Queen, no doubt. Come on, sit down. You are going to get us in trouble. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. Really, no. But I did have a few days a knacker drinking hurt. in my past. It's just wine. But, uh, I promise you. Don't you give it to peer pressure, kids. Not a good thing. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Suit yourself, then. Yeah, okay. I don't want a knacker drink. Here. So. Do it in a lovely I, uh, field where there's no one watching. With my cans of Dutch. One euro cans, man! Oh, and she hit it, put it away, everything, take a drink. It's like the guards are walking by. Well, I just. Oh. I remember when I'm I was very 15. Good at this sort of thing. Listen. Come spit it out, girl! If I tell you this. Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. Yes, okay. You can tell no one. I promise. I trust you. I swear, I won't tell a soul. Grant, okay. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. Right. She became pregnant. Okay. It was a disgrace to her family. Mm-hmm. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. Right, okay. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to uh, hide. What? I don't want to what hide from you mother? as well. What happened to your mother? Lady Elena asked no questions. She took care of my mother. And when I was born, she gave me the name Durwell. Oh. oh. My mother died not long after. Well, at least the Queen of Thorns was sound. She didn't live fully up to the name. But... I, I am actually sorry to hear that. I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. Okay. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. Right. It's my chance at a life. Uh a family of my own. Have you asked her? Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Okay. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Uh, Please, Mira. Fine. Of course, Sarah. Fine. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. As long as this doesn't get me kicked out with the whole... I'm so sorry. Here I am talking wrong. about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. Yes, they died. I, I remember. It didn't happen too long ago. I don't think anyone... You sure you won't have any? You look like you could use a drink. I could use a drink. But, uh... Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Oh, Lord did Tyrion, it. My lord. How's going? Ladies. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us? Care to join us, Lord Tyrion. Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. <laughs> Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got uh, about that, Tyrion. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you. She won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. 
Uh, I'm... We, we found it in that bush. <laughs> That's the worst answer it's ever. Strange it should find its way into a bush. Yeah. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking. Uh, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. Yeah. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehead. Okay. Lord Whitehead. This took a big turn. He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him Let won't be pleasant. Speak for House I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Right. Is this Come with me. Is this good or bad? I... These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. If it's fun for Tyrion, it'll be fun for me. My lady. Okay, let's go and talk to some White Hills, then. Sounds good. How that went from... Ah, oh, she takes a drink of wine. Nice. She, she's gaining some respect now. She's gaining some. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. How's gold? Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment. She's a lady lord. I am Mira that Forrester. Much is clear. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Yeah, you've heard that correctly. Why are you here? Well, A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a Forrester. To sell Forrester Ironwood. I'm here to sell our Ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros? Yeah? I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Mm. She has now. Now, if you'll excuse us. <laughs> You're going to dismiss? You can't us. do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Uh -huh. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. Uh, let him hear He's of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough. My apologies, Andros. Lord Andros. Lord Andros, I'm truly sorry if I've upset you. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Yeah. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Well, at least you're a good day, gentlemen. Ah, well. The other guy's a little touchy. Nice now, name. as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? Right, well, what sort of proposition can we get? I had a reason yeah. for coming here. Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Let us supply the Ironwood. My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of Ironwood. It would be beneficial. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or... You'll bring your houses to open war. Right. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? I'll have to take that then risk. Then that's a risk I'll have to take. It's all about risks. And I'd like to say I'm feeling confident about this one. I'd like to say I've been wrong in the past. But let's see how Tyrion feels. I'll consider the arrangement. Okay. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. I uh, scratch Don't your worry. back, you scratch the mine. The will be fair. Uh, I need details? I need more than that. I do need something to go on. I'll have an answer for you soon enough. 
We have an understanding then. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. Yeah. For your sake, I hope it's the former. As do I, Tyrion. But, uh, thank you. My lady. Hello. Is it just me, or did he sound a little too, um... Humble. For, uh, for a Lannister cloak. Guardsmen, that is. But we're back to Asher and Young Kai with Malcolm and Vishka. At least we have someone that sounds like Mick McCarty in here. Because <laughs> that, that just makes it, this experience a little better. Alright. Let's go down in the streets of Young Kai. The, where's our pots on the rooftop? Oh, perhaps for rainwater, actually. Come on, use your brain, guy. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You coming with us, then? I suppose you'll have to. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. Yeah, we could hire an army. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead them. I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. Well, we'll have to unengage them then. What about Croft? The one-eyed Croft. With the second sons. The second sons? They're all with the Targaryen girl now. Oh. Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. Uh, I'll be charming. I'll be charming. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Even she knows that's a lie. But everyone closing the doors means that some shit is going to go well. down. This mother of dragons and her cell swords ah. are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? What's wrong with Marine? There's nothing wrong there yet. Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. Okay, I'll trust you. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. Well, you put it out I there now. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Oh, oh. Okay, got the dodge, got the dodge. Ponte Renas! Okay, you know, Josie, but Dagon Costotti Daor. Right. Okay, so. Right, keep my fingers on all triggers and such here. Oh, uh, that may not be a good idea. Stop her. Too much noise, and that'll bring all of them down. And just then... one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. Thank you. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. Yeah. They won't uh, stop looking for us. It'll probably be faster now. Since it's a long journey to Marine on we foot. We didn't kill that guy. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Oh, just get that army. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Right. Sounds uh, sounds like a fantastic plan, so. Either uh, die or don't. 
legit stuff. Okay, back to Mira. Mira's quarters in King's Landing. Right here. Uh, hmm. Just someone nearby. Oh, my room is open. This, uh, this can only be good. There's going to be someone in here. Hello. See, that's one thing I'd never do is actually shout hello to someone. I, if, if I thought someone was in my house, I thought like the sensible thing would just be like play it sneaky, see who's around, have a bit of a weapon or something. Uh, we are going to bust that shit in. Okay. A note with Mira written down. The handwriting looks a little shaky, so. Could be the the orphan guy, the cold boy. Could be that. Okay, so scuff marks on the floor. Something was dropped, of course. I guess. Not not the the best clean getaway. Broken vase, of course. There we go. Yet again, this is all. Why would someone do this? Why would someone do this, indeed? Obviously, they were in a hurry and they broke it by accident. Or else it's just mindless destruction. But I. Who would be that messy looking through stuff? Wouldn't you do it to make sure that the person wouldn't know what you've been looking Everything's through? Everything's still here. Okay, what's at the desk? The letters from my family. Hmm. What would someone want with them? Get some inside dirt on you, I can only presume. What's here? Oh, is that the book? I can't read it. It's upside but down. Someone going through my books. If someone was going through all of your shit, of course I'd go through your books. But write the note. Come on. There's not gonna be a time bomb. I in have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Okay. Okay, what's this gonna be, so? That will aid me with the imp. I like Tyrion. Tyrion's not gonna fuck me over. God, I hope he's not gonna fuck me over. There. <clears throat> that should last through it's Lady Elena's visit, at least. Like There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Mace. Okay. What I mean My penis works. If the two of you want I will to keep that in air, mind. It should not be. Of a course, concern. my man. A stabbing question. Of, of course not. I just meant enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, <laughs> I seemed unsure how she might feel about you. Oh. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. So just try. I don't bring need to burden you with unwanted confidence. advice. But this is an important day for all Thank of us. Thank you, mother. Thank you, mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. I know, I know. I'm alone. I'm not dead. Here. Okay, the music abruptly stopped there. So, uh, she's going down. She's coming here. Roderick? To play my A game. Oh, hello there, Elena. Elena. I forget already. How are you? My face has been better. You look. You're really. Uh, I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. <laughs> I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. Not at all. <laughs> no. Just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> See? Please. It's all laughs over here. You're all good. Right, so I have, to, I, have to, I have to get this marriage to work. I can do this. So, here we are. You look beautiful, I'm glad Elena. to see you up and about. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but 
I can't believe it's been two years. Two Your brother's years? Your brother's Mayday feast. It's shit. We danced until the sun came out. We danced and we cried. But now your house we prepares left. for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean uh, to cry, but... I've been better, to be I honest. I want to know what you're going through. I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. Maybe. Hmm. Love is in the air. But Roderick. Everywhere I look around. I, um, I need to ask you something. Oh, you pulled away quite fast. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. Yes. White Hill soldiers. Okay. They seemed angry. Violent. They said some terrible things. Such as? The White what? Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. I'll break their necks. Why are they here? Oh, Has something happened? Ramsey Snow insisted. We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Boltons. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron No, he just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. Okay, fire away. I have always looked forward to our marriage. Great. But in light of all that's happened to your family... You don't want to fuck yourself over? My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. Well, I don't think so. And what do you want? And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. Okay. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. Uh, okay. I love That's the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. There won't be any war. I know things may look bad, but I won't let our houses fall. I wish I could stand by you. Stand by me! But I have to be practical. Oh, no, don't be. God, no! It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? He won't be risking everything. Even for you. Oh, God. Because I love you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. Just for... I wish that was enough. Oh, God! I'm sorry. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. Ah, I... If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in. You're a fuck. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but... So, he... the rumours are true. Oh, not you again. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore... You're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth, you can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Get out. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. Right. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh. She practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. Ryan belongs at that funeral. This family. Not until I'm certain that you know your place. No, my place? Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now, I hear you're ordering them around. And refusing to feed them. They're not supposed to be here. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Ah, uh, I do not answer to you. I do not have to obey. See? That's just the kind of arrogance I'm talking about. Right. Sure. Here's the idea. 
got to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan called me Craven, but you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing. I want to end up. I get to see Ryan again. Go on. I want to Get on your knees. I want to see it. Kiss it. Roderick, please. You threatened me! I'm not Fuck kissing your ring. Guy. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance... Yeah? I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsey do that! Snow, I said. know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. I got it. I know. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. You defy House Bolton. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. But well, hopefully Mira should be sorting things well, out with some of that. That's what it came for. I hope. I'll leave you to your business. Ooh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. Isn't that clever? <sighs> I'm not a happy man. He's always been a brute. I'm just glad you didn't submit to him. You'd put your pride ahead of your family. What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? I won't bow to that I won't man. bow to Lord Whitehill. And now your brother will pay the price. <sighs> Pride may have been too much there, but... My lord, are you well? This will just make things more interesting. This is not over. This fight isn't over. Not even close. <laughs>